Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at this um, episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker Graflex. Um, this is a uh, project I commissioned my friend Martin to um, do for me. Um, he's done a fantastic job as usual. Uh, he did all the assembly, all the weathering, and um, I'm just here really to show it off and talk about it. Uh, so, without further ado, we'll start with the base unit, which is a um, Roman Props Gen 2 Graflex uh, for the top and the lower section. And the reason I went with Roman Props on this occasion is because the prop that was used during the film is actually a, uh, a Roman Props product. Uh, this is confirmed by Roman himself. Um, it is not a vintage, it's not any other type of replica. They did actually, Lucasfilm did purchase Roman Props Graflexes just for Episode 9, not any of the other sequels or anything like that. Literally just for Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, Lucasfilm purchased uh, some Graflex units from Roman Props. And it is a Gen 2. I have confirmed this with Roman, so this is identical and about as close as you can get um, to the real prop. So Roman Props top, Roman Props bottom. The clamp section, we had to go with the KR Sabers because, to my knowledge, he's the only one that does this kind of Episode 9 style clamp. And then a few modifications uh, that I asked uh, Martin to do for me just to make it more accurate. Um, starting at the top, not, not much there. This is all as it is. It's obviously the scorch marks here. These were the stencil was applied that comes with the kit. And then I believe Martin's done these using a Dremel and chemical weathering. Another modification I've asked him to do on this occasion is some of the reference pictures. You can see there's a little bit of like a rust or dirt effect around the section of the clamp near the rivets. I've asked him to do that. So he's painted that by hand. It looks excellent. Once again, we opted for real rivets in place of the false rivets that comes with the kit, just to make it look more authentic. And again, I asked Martin to um, use his own vintage leather for the strap uh, in place of the, um, the stock leather strap that comes with the kit because the color and texture of this just looks more accurate to the uh, to the real prop. Lower section again. Uh, this is a Roman props bottom. The grips are from KR Sabres. These were preserved because they are already the right dimensions. Um, we've already got one that's got the bell clip on it, so it's easiest just to uh, reuse what we have. Uh, Martin did paint those white first and then painted black over them again. And the reason is, um, they're in the reference photos, you can see some like chipping where the white is exposed underneath. Look, it's, it's like a grayish white, basically like a resin undercoat or something, a resin base. So he's done a great job with that. Um, it's very subtle, it's hard to see, but I can I can make out some chips here and there like over here, there on the edges. You just couldn't do that with uh, the brand new grips. You just end up scratching it. You wouldn't be able to expose like this white underneath. And over here is the most interesting mod, which I didn't know about till recently. This grip up here, the one that faces a clamp on the left, has the rear fin broken off. And this is, um, Something I verified by looking at uh, some of the reference pictures. Um, so again, Martin has cut that off, filed it down, and then painted this strip of grayish white um, to look like it's the resin underneath. It's a beautiful mod, very interesting. And once again, we used real rivets in place of the false rivets that comes with the grip. And finally, a custom plain aluminium cap uh, for the pommel, which um, I believe was ordered from eBay in place of the, um, the 
the Chaos Saber as well. Just a few small modifications there to make it more accurate and uh, bring this to life. And I think this is as close as we can possibly get to the real prop that's used on screen in episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker. Many thanks to Martin for this beautiful mod. I will, as always, link him down below. Uh, feel free to uh, message him on Facebook uh, if you have any uh, commissions you want to discuss with him, uh, especially things like painting, weathering, assembly, um, accuracy mods. I'm sure he'd be happy to help out. He is on a break as of now. Um, he will not be accepting any commissions for the foreseeable future. This is something that he has announced on his Facebook page. Uh, so please respect that and do not put any pressure on him. Just be patient. Uh, it will be worth it uh, when he does come back to uh, the hobby. I'm sure he will be happy to help you out. Uh, until then, um, thanks very much for watching. Um, Martin, if you're watching, thank you so much. This is absolutely perfect. And yeah, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.